Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Get Sassy Beauty Supply in Chandler, Arizona, featuring As I Am products. All right, so I'm starting on an old twist out. This twist out is about four days old, and I'm just gonna start spraying it down with some distilled water just to soften it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna start in the back section and I'm going to apply the co-wash from As I Am, just a tiny bit to that section, and I'm gonna start working that through. And if you guys know anything about my hair, it takes an eternity to detangle. But using this co-wash, it's so slippery and so moisturizing that it was like, it took me like 20 minutes to do half of my head, which is a big deal. So I just took a little bit more of that product and worked it through from ends to roots and finger detangled the section all the way down and then twisted it up. And then I did the same thing to all three sections on one side of my head. And then once I was done, I had six sections all fully finger detangled. And this is how much hair I lost in the detangling process. Then I got in the shower and I rinsed the co-wash out of my hair and also did some more further finger detangling. I used a little bit more product on parts I thought needed a little bit more cleansing. But this product is so soft and moisturizing and it didn't leave my hair feeling stripped. It was actually a very clean, smooth feeling after I rinsed it out completely. And of course, because it's so slippery, it made it really easy to continue to detangle. Once I was done with that, I used a t-shirt to blot all the excess water out of my hair. Now I'm gonna use the So Much Moisture Hydrating Lotion. Now this product is really, really runny, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, it was kinda of getting everywhere. But I'm just gonna work that in through the entire section and put one side out of the way, and I'm gonna start detangling further with a comb. My hair is not really tangled, it's just I do this so it's easier to flat twist. And this is actually how I do my heatless blowout. Once all the product is worked in and it's all detangled, I'm gonna make one large flat twist on the side of my head. And even though I did all that detangling, it's curly, so it's gonna need some more smoothing. So I'm just gonna take a Denman brush and smooth all of the tangles out and continue twisting all the way down. Once I get to the end, I'm going to use a small elastic and tie that off. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Apply my product, comb through, and flat twist. And when I get near to the end, I'm gonna use a Denon brush and comb through any knots that I may have caused. Then continue twisting all the way down, tying off the end with an elastic. And now I'm gonna let this air dry. I actually ended up wearing this as a hairstyle and added some hair jewels to it as well. But now that it's fully air dried, I'm gonna take out the jewels and untwist the flat twist. And you're gonna end up with something like this. I'm gonna take out the other side. And starting from the back, I'm going to clip some of it out of the way and use my Denman brush to comb it out. This is how you get that blowout look without any heat. And this is gonna be the foundation of the style that I'm going to do, which is a Bantu knot out.
Now that it's all combed out and fluffy and lovely looking, I'm gonna take a section in the very front. You could use a rat tail comb to do this. I'm just using my fingernails. Make a section about two inches wide and put the rest of the hair out of the way. And then I'm gonna divide that section in half. Oh, first I'm gonna comb through it, yeah. Now I'm gonna divide it in half and take a little of that twist defining cream on my fingertip and work that in from ends to root. Take the brush again and make sure all the product is evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna start twisting it all the way down. And you don't want the top to be too tight because the, by the time you get to the end of the Bantu knot, it'll be really, really snug. So you wanna start pretty loose. So you're gonna to continue to twist the hair around and underneath the previous knot. And then they'll stack up on top of each other. And at the very end, you'll tuck the ends inside. If your hair's not tucking you very well, you can use a bobby pin. But I have one down. Here it is again. I'm gonna take a little bit of that twist defining cream and put it in ends to root, then comb through with a Denman brush, and then start twisting all in one direction, and then start the knot very loosely. You're gonna to continue to twist the hair around itself and underneath each knot that you create, and it'll stack on top of itself into a Bantu knot. Again, don't make this really tight because you're going to sleep on this and it's not gonna be very comfortable if it's too tight. Also, you don't really wanna pull out your hair. Here I am just tucking the ends underneath the knot. And now we are done. I got 20 knots in my head and the parts aren't super clean, but that's okay. The next morning, after sleeping on these knots, it wasn't as comfortable as I would have liked. You're just gonna untwist each knot, kind of like you're unscrewing a bottle cap. Might take some time, depending on how long your hair is. Once you're all done, you're gonna start separating and twirling the hair around your fingers, just like that. You can put some oil on your hands if you want to to keep the frizz down. I didn't because a little frizz never hurt anyone. Then I'm gonna take my pick and start fluffing and fluffing and fluffing until I get the desired look. And then you're gonna arrange the curls just how you like it. And this is my finished look. I hope you guys like it. You guys can find the As I Am products at Get Sassy Beauty Supply in Chandler, Arizona. You can also go to their website and use the coupon code Kalana for percentage off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to visit GetSassyBeautySupply.com.